it is so frustrating when after spending so much time to edit a video a lengthy video you cannot just export it that was what happened to me a few days ago after spending so much time to edit my over 30 minutes video turned 6 minute video i just could not export it the response i kept getting was failed to convert video why let's find out so this is something like i said that happened to me a few days ago I spent so much time putting so much passion, so much effort into editing my video and I just could not export it from the InShot app into my gallery. I am the person who would always say InShot over any other app. My friends would tell me, oh, let's use VLO, let's use CapCut, let's use Flipchamp, let's use... And I would tell them that InShot is the app to go for. But in this case, I felt like mm, maybe InShot is not the best app anymore so i'm going to give you three points ways to go about it so when you encounter something like this the first thing to do or the first thing you should consider is to clear your catch so you can try clearing your catch in the InShot app um that will not clear your media or your draft from the InShot app it will just clear up and create space in the app for you so probably when you check your iphone storage um when you check the space that the app takes after clearing your cache, the space that it takes on your iPhone should um, be reduced a bit. Yes. And then you can also clear your, sorry, after, yeah, after clearing your initial cache, you should also try and clear your phone cache. Typically, when that happens, from my research, I found out that um, when that happens, you need about three times more the space that the video would take to actually save that video. So, in essence, if the video would take um 20 megabyte space you need about 90 or 60 megabytes to a uh, megabyte space cleared up to be able to save the video i don't know if that makes sense now if that does not work point two what you can do is offload the InShot app so you have what you have to do is to go to your iphone settings go to iphone storage and then um look for the InShot app amongst the apps and offload it okay or uninstall it yes uninstall the InShot app then restart your phone so after offloading or uninstalling the app to turn off your phone and re uh, turn back on so you have to restart your phone and then reinstall the InShot app and try exporting again and it should work for most people it works but for me it did not work and so if you are like me that these two attempts did not work what you can do is to screen record my video because i wasn't about to spend another over 30 minutes or close to an hour editing my video so what i did was to just screen record it that would end up reducing the quality of your video because iphone screen records in 720 yeah and so I, typically i see my videos in 4k or 2k or the least is 1080p so yeah what i ended up doing was screen record and that reduced the quality so basically these are the three things that i tried and um, i hope actually the two work for you because you need you need your videos to be in high quality yeah so that's it i think um or i hope this video was helpful to you and uh see you in another video yeah if you are not subscribed hit the subscribe button and join the family like share this video to help another person until next time bye but if you haven't watched some other videos on my channel do check my content and uh, my videos and if you like my content like them share comment and subscribe bye